I'm Dr. Craig Eskide. Welcome to Medical Monday. How did that happen? That's a question we often have to answer or try to answer when we see an injury in a person with an intellectual and developmental disability. Maybe that person slipped and bumped themselves on the edge of a table, or maybe somebody else caused that injury. Maybe somebody else hit them. That question can be very hard to answer sometimes, especially in people who have limited abilities to answer questions verbally, to be able to communicate verbally uh, what might have happened. But it's something that we always have to address. So we need to pay attention to potential causes or environmental causes. I remember a person um, who was taken to, who was brought to see me uh, as, as their physician because they had a linear bruise right across the back of their calf muscle and didn't look like anything in particular. It wasn't severe, but there definitely was a, a linear horizontal bruise on the back of their calf. And we decided to watch it. We, of course, we asked all the, all the questions, didn't see anything to be concerned about. A couple of days later, she had another bruise that was parallel to that bruise on her calf muscle. And what was interesting was that after thinking about it more and the environment that she, in, she was in, one of her favorite activities was to rock back and forth on this wooden rocker. And on the wooden rocker, there's a bar at the bottom. And what she would do, what she was doing, and what was finally observed is that she was actually hitting the back of her leg on this rocker. So at first you might think it's abuse. Someone's hitting her with something on the back of her leg. But after looking at the environment and looking at other causes, we all came to realize that it was this rocker. So we put a little padding on the rocker and there, that solved the issue, solved the problem. So we've got to think about abuse as a sign, as a, as a possibility when we see some sort of injury, but it's also important to look at the environment. You know, could it be a particular um, a piece of adaptive equipment that is causing some sort of injury? Orthotics and assistive devices, uh, wheelchairs, supports uh, in, in these areas all can cause injury. And we need to make sure that we, we evaluate for those things before assuming that a person has been abused. With that, though, we always need to have a high index of suspicion. So remember, look for environmental causes. If you want to learn more about this, Clinical Pearl 11 uh, in the book Clinical Pearls in IDD Healthcare uh, talks about environmental factors that can contribute to injury patterns in people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Many of the topics that you hear on Medical Mondays comes from the book Clinical Pearls in IDD Healthcare. It's a great resource guide that provides helpful clinical information to anyone who provides support for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. This includes family members, direct support professionals, nurses, physicians, and others who work in the field. You can find it at replacingrisk.com. That's replacingrisk.com in our store.